Hello, welcome to Volps Gaming. I am your host, DJ Paulson, and today we're going to restore a vehicle. I do not know which one yet, but we'll uh, get a surprise about which one. Hello there. I am new here, and I hope you all enjoy this video. Please like this video if you, of course, like it. Leave a comment down on any questions, concerns, or, of course, comments. And if you seem to enjoy my channel and want to get updates, Please subscribe. Now, we're going to restore a vehicle, as I've said before, and we're gonna. I'm gonna do something a little bit different that I don't really see a lot of other videos do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restore the vehicle and give a number for number estimate, exactly how much it costs to restore that vehicle from the fee to enter the uh, site, buy the car, etc., so on and so forth. It's the estimate that looks a little something like this on the screen. Now then, at the end, it'll total it up, and I'll get a wonderful profit to see how much it is. Now, all vehicles vary, even if it's the same vehicle, because it depends on the condition, what it needed, and of course, the mileage of the vehicle. But it will give you a good estimate to see if maybe you're interested in that vehicle to make a profit on most of my vehicles will probably be mods from dealers such as Fully Sick and others. Some of them will be DLCs from Playaway, and of course some will be in-game. So, let's go ahead and go into the junkyard and see what waits us in there. We're gonna pay 500 big ones. And I'm gonna add that on my phone here. In my notes. To show that I paid 500 bucks to into it. And of course, if I don't find anything that I like or that seems interesting, then I will fix it out and do it again. And then of course that will add to the fees total. This is the junkyard, everybody. For anyone who is new to this game, you can purchase car vehicle parts, as I'm about to do here. You see you got a bunch of stuff here. You some in bad condition. Some not so bad. That's actually 85%. That's not bad. And then you can repair them once you have a repair table and try to make a quick little buck off of it, which is nice. Alright, so the junkyard holds both parts and cars as I said before. If there's a spot that looks like a car would fit, then it will probably spawn. It varies differently from time to time. You will get something different every single time. Hmm, there's one right here. Let's see what it is. Okay, the back looks pretty interesting. Let's, ooh, it's an Aston Martin. Aston Martin DB4 GT Sagato. All right. <laughs> oh. oh my god, look at that price. 403789 and that car value though. Holy shiz. That is a serious upcharge. <laughs> I can't even afford to pay the actual car value. If you're high up, you will see the value of the car through the toolbox. Even though this car would look very cool, um, that's just a little too expensive for me. And that upcharge, especially in a businessman standpoint, is ridiculous. Holy cow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's for them high rollers there. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Let's see if we can find anything else. yet so far uh, I'm not really keen on doing a forklift even though I would get a nice little profit on it I'll see what else we have and maybe we'll start with the forklift maybe we won't maybe I'll just cut it out altogether but, uh, let's try not doing that forklift just yet. Hmm. Two vehicles. That's not really nice. Okay, so, we'll start off simple then and do the forklift. Now, this forklift is, I believe, by Fully Sick. I could be wrong, don't quote me on that. 
I'll check into that modder later, and then leave a link down in the description of that particular mod. It has 204,450 kilometers, the car press is 3,904, and the car value is 3,668. It has a V8 Hemi that we will rebuild. Um, each and every different forklift will come with a different engine, I can tell you that right now. So that is kind of cool. But I guess we'll start off with this forklift. That Aston Martin though, holy cow. That was ridiculous, I tell you what. All right. All right. So we're back in the shop here and we've got our forklift. We're going to go ahead and send it to a forklift? Move car. Duh. Can't believe I missed it. Did I just say forklift? Oh my god, I hope I did. <laughs> Alright. So, we're gonna first remove some body parts. And this forklift is actually kinda cool. It's And, it, and if you find it in a junkyard, you can actually make, probably make a small profit off of it. Because it is that cheap. As you can see there, it was like less than $4,000. And, uh... I know there's some other parts. But, uh... I feel like I'm missing something. I know there's something else to this. I'll probably check back on that when we purchase the parts. Alright. Here we disassemble. Uh, hello? Thank you. Alright. Oops. Okay. Oops. Oh, just saw some... Nope, it's just me. Alright, so let's get this thing on the lifter. Forklift has very minimal parts, as I said before, so it doesn't really have a drive shaft or anything. So, it is really cheap, and it's actually really easy to rebuild. There's not really that many parts to rebuild on it. Which is, you know, kind of nice in a standpoint. What am I doing? There we go. I know I'm missing something. And you know, it is kind of cool to look at. I mean, I, it just may seem like a regular forklift, which it is, but, you know, it's still something, you know, nice to look at. And I'm not really going to do this to if I were a mechanic. Um, I know Mr. Moose does that, which is really nice. I like that. But I'm not a mechanic, nor do I pretend to be. <laughs> so I'm just going to do this from my standpoint of view. Uh, sorry if it's not as cool as some of the other channels. I do apologize about that. But, uh, we'll... We'll make do with what we got.
All right. And what's really cool about this, like I said, is just what these what these modders can do with all this. I mean, they take a lot of time to mod everything, you know, map everything out, make it look nice. And some of these, you know, they're sick. I've seen like Hot Wheels vehicles. I've seen the forklift. I've seen, you know, vehicles that would come out of the factory in real life. I mean, it's just really awesome. And you know, I get my hat to those people because I can never do it. Especially take as much time as it does just to mod one vehicle, and they're doing it for free. You know how so much? You know how some of these would go for in real life for a DLC mod? I mean, come on, they could have made thanks for this, but they chose to make it for free, which is really, really nice. And all these mods, you know, they come from the Steam community, where you just, uh, basically subscribe to the vehicle, and then, boom, it's in, it's easy. From that Steam workshop, man, I swear, it's made everyone's life easier. And you can always, you know, I believe they all have donation places, in case you want to make a donation, which, if I had any money, I probably would. And it's just so amazing how these vehicles look. Even with the limitations that they have. Which is sickening. Alright, so, I believe that is all the stuff. Let's go and take all the parts that we need to take out so we can try to repair them. And you know, I did, I played this game a while, so this actually does, so this game is really nice, I mean, I got into, I got in watching it, you know, almost two or three, not, not even three months ago, like, longer than three months ago, like four months, and uh, I didn't really have the money to pay for it, but I just always wanted to play this game, and I played it up to level 17, I know I'm at 101, but that is for entertainment and educational purposes to have all of the toolboxes, or toolboxes equipment. Alright, now, when I do these mods, what I did is I cut out all the discounts. So I have all the equipment, but none of the discounts. So anytime you see the price, it's what you would pay for it, even if you're at, you know, level 2, which is really nice. I like that I did that. So that way the numbers can be basically the most expensive that they can be. Uh, for fees and stuff. Alright, and I don't believe the thing had an engine, so that's gonna be fun. We're gonna have to buy a whole new engine. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no engine part. Cool. That's gonna be fun. Alright, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna shut up for a moment because I'm gonna now repair the parts that I can repair. Even the ones that flunk out, I'm it's still off, so I'm going to put that in, and uh, I will be back with you in a moment once I get the full total of that. Let me see here. Okay, I am back, and let's see what got re done. Ooh, most... Not most of it at all. <laughs> Only about half of it or so got repaired. Uh, the total came to $1,003 for the repair. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to go ahead and go into my warehouse here. And I am going to put in the condition of all the 100% so I know I won't need them and so it starts here I think some parts were pretty nice uh, let's see the uh, tire the rim size on that because I may need to buy all new things 
Because I don't think it goes... Yeah, see. Let me see what the shop will do. Because I don't think I can go higher than a 15. But, could be wrong. Uh, let me see here on the tablet. So yeah, I can't do 8 inch, I'll have to probably buy a whole new t I'll have to probably buy 4 new ones. I'm gonna go back to the warehouse. That's things I should have done before. <laughs> uh, yeah. So let me see here. Alright, so, $10 in credit. Let me put that down in my phone here. And with credit, it's for every part that sell. Alright, so, we basically need three rim basics. Okay. Ooh. My bad. <laughs> Moved my, uh, desk here. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and go back into the tablet. Rim basics. Well. Whoops. Three. Alright, so that's gonna cost $60. Let me write that down. Alrighty, now that we got that, let me go ahead and put those in the warehouse. Alrighty. Ugh, I'll need to buy a whole new engine. That's not gonna be very fun. <laughs> Alright. Inventory. Alright, so now I'm gonna make a new note. And I'm gonna write down all the stuff that I need. I know I probably should remember everything by now, but since I don't, I'm gonna write them down anyway, and I will be back with you in just a moment. Alrighty, so, <laughs> the current the, uh, purchase value is $11,738. Holy crap. <laughs> that is uh, kind of expensive, and we've only gotten the small portion of the engine. Yeah, see, V8 overhead valve G. That is why I did not buy the engine, because I did not know what it needed. <laughs> Alright, but now that we are aware of what that is, I can now add that into my, uh, stuff. But first, let me go ahead and get rid of all of the parts that I already purchased that I won't be needing. Alrighty, so it shows that I have $781 worth of credit. Um, obviously, if I made any errors, I don't think I did. But if I did, you are happy to nicely project it in the comments to say, Hey, you forgot something. Or, hey, this was added up wrong. I am only human, and humans are not computers. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what else I need other than ugh, Lord, the engine stuff. That's not going to be very fun. Uh, two sway bar front end leg B, upper suspension arm. I didn't miss much. Run axle and the cover. Alright, so let's see. Here, let me go ahead. Back up there. I actually remembered most of it, which is not bad at all.
Oh, that's nice for a memory test. <laughs> I got most of it. Alright, so let's go back into the shop. And I'll be back with you in just a moment. Alright, so the total is going to be $12,026 thus far. Whew. That is a lot for a forklift, I tell you what. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go and add some credit to that wonderful stuff. But hey, you know, we got, we're getting quite a few back, though. So. It's not like it's terrible. I mean, with selling these parts alone, it could definitely help us with this wonderful business. Alright, so that'd be $801 in credit thus far. Okay then. What I'm gonna do now is just go into the warehouse and pick up all of the things that I put in there. Over a dollar to make it eight hundred and two dollars worth of credit. Okay. Alrighty. Now we're gonna add new. Because now I'm going to add the parts. But first. Let's go ahead and join some parts together, shall we? So that takes care of the last one of those, I believe. Yep, okay. So let's go ahead and balance our newly done wheels. That will of course take a second. Alright, so let's go ahead and start putting stuff on this wonderful forklift. There are no items to work with, so I'll have to buy a bottom suspension arm B for that.
And I know this seems really ghetto that I'm just doing one point of view. I'm sorry. But like I said, I, I'm i not a mechanic. I know I should probably be uh, at least trying to go into the area, but nah. When I play this game, I try to get, as, get it done as quickly as possible. And, you know, of course, as right as, as possible. <laughs> so, you know, if I have to... I basically don't want to have to move unless I have to. Which, in this case, I do. And I don't have that whole, you know, uh, zoom in on the nuts and bolts thing. I don't have that. Which is good, <laughs> because it makes things a lot easier for me. I think it's interesting how I can put the tire on before I can put all that other stuff on. Uh, it seems, you know, that I should uh, be—I should have to put all this on first before I can put on the tire. And you know, that's obviously not the modder's fault. But I would like to mention that perhaps maybe they should do that in the game to be a little bit more semi-realistic, so to speak. <laughs> Where we cut out from that. Alright. And I may actually have to buy a couple more uh, rubber bushings if it's like that. I mean, that's what I'm gonna guess I'm gonna have to do. Unless I got just really lucky, which I don't think I did. Yeah, see, I feel like you should at least be able to put... You, sh you would need to put the suspension on at least before you put the tire on, which is weird. Alright, so, let's check my inventory. Let's see how many rubber bushings I got. Yeah, I got two. So that... I may actually got lucky. <laughs> Alright, so let's see here. I don't want that. Go ahead and do that on flip. Look up rear suspension. Uh no. That's not what I'm looking for. Bottom suspension arm beat. Okay, so that's what it's called. Whoopsie! My bad. Add one for a hundred and twenty Dolores. That'll be twelve thousand one hundred and forty-six. So far. Oh my that Yeah. But hey, looks like I got lucky. Alright, so now that we got that out, let's go ahead and take this off. And we start playing the runaround game. Where we put on each tire as they balance.
almost like a NASCAR race. <laughs> or I should say a NASCAR time trial. Whoa. I do, however, know I'm supposed to do it in a star pattern. I'm sorry, I at least know that, but I'm, other than that, I don't know much. Even though I should be doing star pattern regardless, uh, not something I, I do. I try though. Almost had it. Alright, it has tires! Alrighty. Let's go ahead and clean it up and clean up the frame. Alright, so we're gonna pay a thousand dollars to make the frame nice and gritty now. Alright, now uh, it's still the rusty brown color, but at least it's not the actual rust, which is nice. Alright, let's use this equipment for a hundred dollars. Equipment back, place equipment back. There it is. Alright, let's put on some body parts. Wow. <laughs> oh, that is... Sounds just so bad. Alright, let's see. I was not aware you could do that like that. Okay, now I'm aware. Back up. Wait, is that a gigantic wing? What in the hell? <laughs> oh, I don't think I've ever seen that. That's kind of cool looking, to be honest with you. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, look at that inventory here. Ah. I see. Okay, I just customized it a little bit. Okay, I was not expecting that. So now I know the front end is this gigantic wing with the forklift. With the actual lift. That's uh, kind of cool. Okay, I, I was taken back by that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go ahead and put in the seats. Says front left seat. I was not aware there was a front right seat. Hmm. There's not, but it's still just interesting to think about. Eh, I, I mean, that's how the modders designed it. That is kind of cool, though. I was not expecting that whatsoever. That is really cool. But now I know. That's really cool. I was not aware of that. 
All right, folks. Let's see what the current value is. All right, so the value is going to be fifteen thousand two hundred and eighty-eight dollars. Obviously, we have the engine to do. Uh, we're gonna need to do a lot of the engine parts. And luckily, what I'm gonna do when I'm off camera now is just uh, just write down all the stuff that I need and pay for it. And it's just basically gonna be all this stuff here that is highlighted or not highlighted at all. So that will be really nice. But until then, I will see you later. Peace out and have a good day.